and you see he's hype. He hasn't missed a shot yet. Where I think about that, like, I don't know why. I know the nigga name is DeLon. But anyways, you see, I throw up a brick with Herter. Luka knocks down a John Collins shooting two for eight. I wasn't lying when I'm telling you. Everybody else on the team, Luka gave us 40. Game one of the NBA Finals. The Mavericks clinched the conference championship that climaxed in a game seven showdown. But now they need four more wins to reach their ultimate goal. It all starts right here, right now, against the Atlanta Hawks. The pinnacle of the postseason, the NBA Finals is here. We've been building to this Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Caleb 2K. And I'm back with the final episode of this Atlanta Hawks franchise, my NBA dynasty, whatever you want to call it. And we are finally here. We are in the NBA Finals facing off against Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks, man. This literally could not be a more storybook ending, man. 2018 draft day, they're traded for each other. And I mean, at the beginning of their rookie season, it looked like, oh, the Hawks got absolutely fleeced. Luka's just him. And then towards the end of the season, when Trey started developing, it started to become more of a, okay, well, the Mavs still won the trade, but the Hawks still got a really good player. And then now in the realm of 2K, you can't tell me that this trade isn't equal because now look at both moves have gotten both teams into the NBA Finals and now they're battling it out for that championship. But before I even get into all of that, man, y'all already know the drill. If you like the video, then like the video so that I know that you liked it, nigga, because it only makes sense. This is the last episode, so I'm gonna need y'all to go hard, man. And you know what I'm saying? I wanted this one to be a little bit longer. I want this one to be a special one. I'm gonna have the entire series in this one episode. And as you can tell, this is a long ass video, so you can only imagine just how good this series is but in just how good this episode is gonna be just how amazing this finals is going to be but with all that being said subscribe to the channel if you are new because we are four subscribers away from 690 subscribers we are only four away we at 686 right now at the time that i'm recording this video that i'm editing this video i should say and hey man Let's try and hit that big 700 before I upload my next 2K23 video. And one thing that I do just want to make clear before I even get into talking about this game. When, when this episode is over, I just want to go over what's next real quick. So after this series is over, after this episode, you're not going to see a My NBA Dynasty franchise whatever from me for a minute. You're not going to see that from me for a minute. And the reason why is because that is not what I base my channel off of, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, I've been growing mad. I've been growing like crazy off of it. But that would like that. The Hawks series was not supposed to do as good as it did, if it make if that makes sense. And like, I appreciate y'all so much for that support, honestly. But at the same time. I gotta go back to my roots you know what i mean i'm not a my league youtuber you're you're going to get a franchise dynasty out of me every single 2k please do not get it twisted you will get one next year but the same thing with how the hawk series went it's gonna happen towards the end of 2k23 but don't think that i'm just dropping ass videos i got some funny ass park videos all that type of stuff that you can watch man it's very entertaining it's very funny but i play park mostly i'm more of like a my career my player type of that's a cre that's most of my videos on this channel before this hawk series was was that and it's just funny videos of me just goofing off with my friends record the funniest moments and then make a video out of them and so stick around for those videos man because they're funny and also tune into my streams because i am going to be streaming 2k23 almost every single day so if you don't want to miss that turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel but with all that being said let's talk about this finals 
So I'm not even going to waste too much time, man. Y'all already saw what happened in game one. We got absolutely smoked. But look at that boy Derrick Rose driving to the paint, man. Y'all already know. Spam with them comments. Ring for Rose. That's who we doing it for. And Jordan Poole, he's going to knock down this three ball at the top of the key. And if he keeps hooping like this, man, we might get that ring for our boy Rose. RJ Barrett now, he's got the ball. Kicked it over to Trey Young. You already know Trey's going to knock it down. He had a terrible game one. But you know you can't hold Trey Young down for long, man. He's just too cold. Paul George in the post. He got Jalen. I don't know who this nigga is, but he somehow stripped Paul George. So I might have to put some respect on this nigga Green. And then Luca finds Jalen Brunson. Brunson got the green shoes with the green release. It wasn't green, but you already know what I mean. I'm rhyming accidentally in this bitch. That shit rhyme. But I ain't gonna waste no time. Y'all already know the deal. Uh, fuck it. I'm not. Let me stop, bro. AD knocks down this mid range right there. But like I said, man, 500 likes and I'm dropping an album on y'all niggas. No cap. But anyways, look at Jalen Johnson playing incredible defense on Anthony Davis. That's why I love Jalen Johnson so much. He could guard, he could guard point guards, but he's also big enough to hold his own. Now, granted, this is AD, so AD gonna cook him most of the time. Oh my fucking goodness. How did John Wall knock down that three? He knocks down that fadeaway. And they are only down by one heading into the second half. Now we're in the second half. And DeAndre Hunter finding Paul George off the screen. Three ball. We're already working. We're trying to tie this series up at one apiece. Trying to avenge how like we went out. That was actually like terrible. I, I don't even know what to say, man. But look at RJ Barrett knocking 80 weak ass down. I'm surprised he didn't get injured off of that. And he's going to get the end one right there. Now Josh Green, that's his name, Josh Green finds AD, and AD's gonna knock down that three ball right there, just cash it in, and now he's looking at us talking about some what y'all niggas doing, but AD, he's running up again, and AD gonna pull it, man, that boy AD been knocking down them shots in this series so far, man, that's a big reason why the Mavs were able to make the finals, man, they beat the Pelicans in six, I believe, but anyways, Jalen Johnson, going coast to coast after getting that steal you see how amazing he is defensively that's why we love that we love our wings man deandre hunter jalen johnson bryce mcgallens is a guard but he can guard like a wing i said guards too many times paul george he's a wing rj barrett he's a wing like we love our wings on this side you know what i'm saying all flats lemon pepper with some buffalo on the side i need my lemon pepper wet you know what i'm saying if any of y'all niggas know what i'm talking about drop that shit in the comments drop your favorite wing flavor in the comments man but anyways the mavs are going the mavs are going on a crazy ass run right now in this fourth quarter and uh we keep playing like this we gonna go down two zip ad hit me with a mean ass step back absolutely lost me and he's gonna knock down that shot right there and now trey jones i haven't heard from this i haven't heard of this nigga in a minute He's going to get that pull up. John Wall misses that mid range right there. Great contest from whoever the fellows. I don't even remember. Trey Young driving. He finds Clint Capella. Capella over to George. George got Brunson on him. So, like, bro, that's a little bait. Take that little nigga to the paint. That's an easy bucket. And now it is a nine point game. Luca finds Royce O'Neal. And that happened. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I, like, what am I supposed to do when Royce O'Neal is getting four-point plays? I don't think Royce O'Neal has gotten a four-point play in his damn career. And then Jalen Brunson, just to put the icing on the cake, he's going to drill that three. They are going to win this game. They really blow us out in the last five minutes of that ball game. So game one, we got absolutely destroyed. Game two... We, we held our own up until the very end. Anthony Davis put in 28 on a near triple-double. That boy was hooping. Luka with 26. Jalen Brunson with 19. Trey had a good game this time around. He had 35, but he had no help from anybody else. Paul George, we do got to be a little bit more aggressive. But now our backs are against the wall, man. It's game three, and the Mavericks have just shown us in back-to-back -back games that we basically cannot keep up with them despite having Paul George because... I'm not gonna lie, Paul. You, you gotta step up, man. You haven't scored 20 in two games. We got, we need some from him. And then you see RJ Barrett getting that slam dunk right there. Luka Doncic absolutely put DeAndre Hunter in a damn blender and just knocks down that pull up three ball right there. So the Dallas Mavericks, they're up two right now. Trey Young in transition. What a move! And he's gonna get that three ball cooking Josh Green right there. It is about 9:30 in the morning. I'm not gonna lie. So if I sound a little like unenergetic, understand that. Trust me, nobody. Nobody is more energetic than me right now filming this last episode for you guys. But look at Royce O'Neal, man, knocking out these dumbass threes. Royce O'Neal, like, I know he could hit sometimes, but, bro, Royce O'Neal is not this fucking good at shooting, bro. I, I, I refuse to believe that this nigga is fucking...
Clay Thompson reincarnated. But look at that beautiful pass from that boy Derrick Rose. Hashtag ring for Rose. Y'all already know the vibes. He getting the, he getting a bucket. Jordan Poole taking John Wall all the way coast to coast. He's gonna get that slam dunk with two hands for safety. And then Jordan Poole, he get don't jump. Don't jump. He finds Jalen Johnson in the corner, and he's going to tie the ball game up at 27 apiece. Now we get the rebound. Derrick Rose over the pool. Pool to Paul George. George steps inside the line and knocks down the mid-range. It was a white, but it was just right, if you know what I'm saying. If it ain't snowing, then I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you talking about. We don't. We love black women. Shout out, shout out all the niggas that love our black queens in 2022. Shout out all the niggas that love Seth Curry wide open three green beans in 2022. You know what I'm saying? Luka Doncic, get that weak shit out of here. I don't know how AD was able to green that. I don't know how he didn't get blocked. But I ain't even tripping because Paul George, I got a, I got a baby on me, and Paul George is gonna knock down that mid range fadeaway over John Wall, baby ass. Now Trey Young, he's got Josh Green on him. Oh my goodness, it's too easy. Clint Capella dunking on Luca. Jesus, Cole, give me one second. <clears throat> it ain't COVID, I swear. Jalen Brunson knocking down the mid range at the free throw line, getting it to go, and now he's driving on Paul George. Kicks it over to Luca. Luca's got Capella on him, and like we we know from history that Clint Capella just cannot guard that nigga Luca Doncic. I mean, whether you want to go real life, 2K. Luca just be Luca like that nigga. Luca owns a lot of like players, but like that nigga Luca owns Clint Capella. Like, that shit is crazy since that nigga was a rookie. But look at Clint Capella. He owns Royce O'Neal, sorry ass. And then look at this sequence, the alley yoop to that boy DeAndre Hunter. Look at that player out there, snag block the alley oop. You love to see it, but I don't love to see that alley oop. Anthony Davis is gonna get one for his damn self. Now Trey, I don't know how I greened this. I was just really feeling myself. But hey man, when it's falling, it's falling. Paul George, he's already got as much points as he's had in the last two games. Cooking Jalen Brunson, Euro stepping, getting to the lane, slamming it down with two hands for safety. DeAndre Hunter getting the steal, and we gonna throw that alley oop to that boy Paul George, and he's gonna climb the ladder. He's gonna climb the ladder. Look at that replay. That was so beautiful, actually killing him. Now PG, a little bit of a takeover. He got two dunks, and now he's gonna get an assist. RJ Bear in the corner. There are four minutes left in this game. We gotta step up. Trey Young in transition. He's too fast. He's too fast. You just can't stop him. Hold up, my phone ringing. It don't even matter who's picking up the phone because I'm recording right now. And Luka Doncic knocks down that three ball. He's gonna give them the lead. He's gonna shoot another three, and now Dallas is up by four. They up by four. Somebody step up. Trey Young finds Paul George. Bang! He's gonna get the white. It's a white, but it's just right. Oh my God, my voice cracking. DeAndre Hunter rips Luca. Trey finds RJ in the corner. Green, and now we have the lead. We up by two. We got two minutes left. We get another stop. And RJ Barrett, get your little ass off of me. Ah! RJ Barrett taking Jalen Brunson to the lane. But Anthony Davis said, hold up. It ain't over yet. He's going to pull up from deep. He's going to pull that three right there. And now Trey Young, he's got to shoot. This is huge right here. He's not going to waste no time and just green it. He not going to waste no time. Ice Trey, absolute ice in his veins in the clutch. My voice keep on cracking. It don't matter. Luke is going to miss this shot. Trey Young get the rebound. And that's basically going to spell the end of this game. We played a free throw game and things of that nature. And we beat these niggas 116 to 105. We get our get back somewhat. Paul George stepping up after two bad games. He drops 31. Trey with 26, but he did have seven turnovers. Luka had 31. And now we're getting into game number four. We're trying to tie this series up. We're trying to get the momentum back on our side of things because I can't go back to Dallas down 3-1 because there's just no way we're beating Luka Doncic and these Dallas Mavericks if we're down 3-1. Anyways, DeAndre Hunter knocks down this three ball in the corner to get us started offensively. Then Trey Young's gonna join in on the three point party when he knocks down that three ball at the top of the at the wing. Ah, uh, Jesus! See, this is the thing. This is how y'all know. <laughs> this is how y'all know when I haven't made a video in a minute because I just be fucking up during the voiceover. But I keep it in because it's organic. But anyways, about game four, the reason why we're in the third quarter right now, I played this entire game. But the fucking, the file corrupted. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, the shit literally got frozen at about the five minute mark. 
my shit got frozen at about the five minute mark of the first quarter and it didn't unfreeze until halfway through the second half so that's why we in the fourth quarter right now but it's a close game so are you really missing anything i don't think so jordan Poole's gonna knock on that three in the corner and now jordan Poole driving to the lane gets that layup with the lefty you already know pumping his chest he feel like he the man we trying to take over this game paul george oh shit don't jump with my nigga PG! Oh my goodness, he cocked it back. Hit him with the tomahawk. And now Trey, he got Luca on him. You better watch yourself, young nigga. Step back green for my boy Trey Young in the clutch. Now Trey, he's looking again. He going off the screen. Pull up green bane. We taking over this game. We taking over. We up 13. Fast forward, we're up 11. Trey Young got Josh Green. Who the fuck is that guy? RJ Barrett's got the ball now. Let him cook. Taking him with the right hand. He's left-handed. But he took him with the offhand. We're going to beat the Lake. We're going to beat the Mavericks. Jesus, we ain't playing no fucking Lakers. We're going to beat the Mavericks after we get hot in the fourth quarter. DeAndre Hunter had 26. Trey Young had 22. He had 13 assists. Only two turnovers this time. PG only had 16. <sighs> Holy shit, bro. Hey man, hey man, I need a, I need some fucking energy, my fault game. But anyways, we are in game five now, so you already know what we came here to do. We came here to take that, so fresh is a clean, clean, 3-2 lead. I'm trying to go back to the city with the chance to put these niggas to sleep. But anyways, Royce O'Neal making bullshit threes, man. Why? I don't like it. I don't want this shit to happen again. Jalen Brunson's gonna get a three-pointer his damn self, and now they are up by seven. Fast forward, it's a four-point game. Paul George, he's cooking Luka, step back, mid-range, green, bang. You just cannot guard that boy, PG-13. He's too nice. He's too nice. He's too good. Trey Young, why am I panting like a dog? That's kind of weird, but Trey Young gonna knock down that three at the top of the key. But that's his hot spot. Shout out that boy, Cash Nasty. Anyways, Trey, again, mid-range pull, bucket, and now it is a tied game. If you're paying attention, you see Trey Young's at 17 in this first quarter. Jalen Johnson finds Jordan Poole, Poole to Seth Curry. Curry knocks down the short corner mid-range, and that is going to give us the lead heading into the second second quarter. Seth Curry knocking down that three ball again. Seth Curry has been big for us in these playoffs. His role has gotten a little bit smaller in the finals. He hasn't gotten that many shots, but when he gets shots, he makes shots. He's gonna drop that three ball right there, and now we are up by six. Anthony Davis finds Luka Doncic in the corner. He's gonna knock down that three ball right there, cut the lead to three. Then we get they get a stop. Jalen Brunson now driving on Seth Curry, kicks it out to Josh Green for three. He's gonna knock it down. You see Paul George struggling, he's two for six. Luka Doncic on DeAndre Hunter and Paul George, kicks it out, finds AD in the corner. He's gonna knock that joint down and we need a timeout. But it's all good because Trey Young's gonna get us right back on track he's gonna make that layup right there give us a four point lead we're up by six and then look at two-way Trey getting the steal finding Jordan Poole Jordan Poole Euro stepping like there's bad bitches in the crowd and he's gonna get that layup right there I'm not gonna lie that Jordan Poole baddies joke that might be the most overused joke of all time but guess what he hooping like there's some bad bitches in the stands I don't care I'm gonna continue using that shit it's overused as hell but I don't care cuz look at him that's another one it ain't white but it's just right you know what I'm saying and now we are up by 12 now we're up double digits you know what I'm saying we're starting to, we're starting to get some serious momentum we call a play for that boy ice trey to go off ball and you know what happens when trey young goes off ball great things happen and when he's on the ball even greater things happen trey driving to the lane you lay almost said euro step but he didn't euro step bryce mcgowan's got the ball he finds seth curry and curry's gonna knock down this three of his own and you already see he's got 11 points he's hooping and then seth curry getting a steal seth curry playing some defense rj barrett said get big little nigga and he's gonna get that layup to fall and now we're up by 18 rj again getting the right-handed layup with his offhand he's a left-handed hooper man left-handed slash and knocking it down with his right hand josh green over to brunson brunson got me in the air deandre hunter nearly blocked that mid-range pull up it's all good though because anthony davis he's gonna pull up from three he's gonna knock down a three and now it is a 12 point game dallas trying to get back into this ball game they're trying to defend their home court jalen brunson gets 
blows right past Clint Capella and gets that layup right there. We miss an alley-oop, and then Anthony Davis finds Josh Green in the short corner. He's going to knock that down, and now this is only a 10-point game. We was just up 18, and then Luka's going to bring them into single digits when he knocks down that three right there. Now, Trey, you got to do something. He's going to break Anthony Davis' ankles and then pull up in his mitt. Trey Young's got 36, man. It's the Trey Young takeover. If y'all remember in that Philly series, Trey Young didn't start turning up until the last couple of games. Look at what he's doing, breaking ankles, getting straight to the cup. He's going to lay it up and in. We are up by 15, and Trey Young, he's looking to put the dagger in him. He's looking to put the dagger in him. Step back, finds Capella, Capella to RJ. Oh, my God, I feel like I'm about to call, but I'm not going to because I don't have COVID. Trey Young knocks down that three ball at the wing. You know what's crazy? I think that nigga, you know, it don't even matter. We win this game. Trey Young dropped 45. Luka had 32, but guess what? It just don't matter. And now it's time for game six. This is it right here. This is it right here. So you already know I had to make some new drip for my guys, for my dogs, man. I need them rocking that gold just to give us good luck. It's time. It's time. It's game number six. We got them right where we want them. We was down 0-2. And now this is our chance to finish the job and for Trey Young to show the world why he is him. Can Paul George get his first ring? Can Trey Young get his first ring? Can Clint Capella get his first ring? And most importantly, the nigga that we do this for, can Derrick Rose get his first ring? We about to find out, baby. We are 48 minutes away from finding out if Derrick Rose is an NBA champion. Get this bum ass nigga off my screen. Skip him. Skip him, Caleb. Skip that nigga. Thank you. Let's go. Let's get ready to work. Let's get ready to work. We ready for the tip off. Clint Capella. God damn it, nigga. Oh, he had one job. Win the tip. But anyways, you see Luka. I mean, the Mavericks, they score first. I'm not going to put it in there because I'm a hater. Trey Young driving to the rim. Gets that layup with the left hand. And that's the first bucket for the Atlanta Hawks in this in this series clinching game trey another left-handed layup this brother is just too fast look at my boy he clean with the gold shoes on so is paul george trey driving to the rim alley oop to that boy clink capella and that ties the game jordan Poole fast forward finds trey young knocks down another three he's got 11 of our 14 points trey young is not playing no games and now derrick rose he's got the ball he finds paul george what a beautiful pass from our guy derrick rose and it's a white but it's just right. That big on drop. John Wall finds Paul. I mean, that's not John Wall. That's Bryce McGowan's finds John Wall. I mean, finds Paul George. Paul George finds Jalen Johnson. And Jalen Johnson's going to knock down that mid-range. Paul George now. Give me that cookies and milk, nigga. And he's going to get that slam dunk. So now Paul George is starting to tee up. He gets that slam a jam after ripping Trey Jones. Bryce McGowan's got the ball again. He's got John Wall guarding him. And now he's looking. He's looking. I don't know what he's going to do. He's driving all the way to the rim. He finds Paul George in the corner. Green Bane. You already know. You can't stop him. And already we are off to a lead. Josh Green. Three ball at the wing. He's going to knock it down. Cut the lead to six. And then Trey. Josh Green. He's going to actually get a steal. And he's going to get the slam dunk. Almost gets blocked by RJ. But RJ just was not fast enough. <coughs> Shit. Anyways, Jalen Brunson being guarded by Derrick Rose. Great defense, but that was just some better offense from that boy Jalen Brunson. That was just some good offense right there. Luka Doncic knocked down that three. So now our double-digit lead. The Mavs just went on an insane run right there. But Derrick Rose driving. He's going to the line. Fuck you thought. You thought Derrick Rose wasn't going to score this game? You tripping. He's going to knock down the first free throw. Derrick Rose at the line. He's going to knock down the second free throw. Yes, sir. But we down by six, so we got to fix that. Paul George now. He's looking. He's got Paul George going him. So that he got John Wall going him, I mean. Step back mid-range. It's just too easy for that boy. Smooth playoff P. Smooth P finals P. Championship P. Whatever you want to call that nigga. He's pushing P. And then he's got Trey Jones. Get your little ass off me, little nigga. That's an easy lay. And now it is a four-point game. And then Royce O'Neal got the ball. What's that nigga gonna do? I have no clue. But, like, this is shit I be talking about, bro. This nigga's hitting every three he shoots, and now he's just dunking on niggas. Royce O'Neal was never like that in his fucking life. 
So why is that happening in 2K? But anyways, Paul George got that steal and turned it into a three-pointer to give us some momentum heading into this second half. But the Mavs are gonna throw that alley oop to AD. Now we are down by eight. But this is when Trey Young says, "Give me the ball. It's time for me to turn up." He's gonna knock down a three ball right there. DeAndre Hunter off the screen. He's gonna find Trey Young and Trey Young getting the and one. Get your little ass up, Royce. Yeah, Royce, flex on him, Trey. Flex on him, Trey. And now Trey Young gets the ball after the steal from Paul George. Luca trying to guard me. You can't. Don't help. Don't help. Trey, Paul George, wide open corner three. Cut the lead all the way down to one. Capella's got the board. He finds Paul George. I'm rhyming accidentally. Paul George stepping back. Step back. Another one. Oh, my God. He stepped back to the three-point line. Paul George is cooking right now. He wants that championship bad. RJ Barrett throwing the alley-oop to that boy, Clint Capella. And now we are up by four. We turning up on these niggas. Jordan Poole looking, finds Trey Young. Trey, he goes off the screen, step back. He's crossing over, fade away on the mid range, bucket. And now we are up by three. John Wall again, he does a spin move. What? I don't know what the fuck this nigga's doing. <laughs> I don't know what gang is doing. But anyways, he gets a good move going right there. Jalen Bronson, give me that shit. Jalen Johnson is Jalen on Jalen Crom. And now DeAndre Hunter makes that pull up right there. We are in the fourth quarter. We are eight minutes away from being NBA champions. Trey Young, look at two-way Trey getting the steal. And Paul George in the corner. He's got 30. He's got 30. He's trying to send these niggas on their way. DeAndre Hunter's playing tight D on Luka, but it just does not matter. Psych, yes it does, because he's going to miss. Trey Young's got the ball. Josh Green, you can't guard him. Oh my God, Trey Young is cooking. And Luka only has 10 points. That nigga choking. That nigga's choking. That nigga's choking. John Wall, he's got the ball. Alley-oop to AD. The Mavs trying to make one final push. There are three minutes and 40 left in this game. We are up by six. Trey Young driving to the rim. I don't know how Anthony Davis didn't send that shit to outer space, but I am not complaining at all. We get another stop. Trey finds Jordan Poole. This is huge, and he's going to green it. Like there's bad bitches in the front seats, nigga. Look at that shot. And then Trey Young finds Jordan Poole. And now Jordan Poole is just taking over. What a fade. He's going to knock it down. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. We are two and a half minutes away. We up by 11. This is huge. Trey Young, it's dagger time. And he's going to cook AD. Look at him. Oh, my God. And at this point, the championship is all but won. We just need one final punch in their fucking chest. And Seth Curry is going to be the one to do it. What a shot. And you already know the drill. There's no sportsmanship for the Beyond Hall of Fame CPU. Paul George stepping back three ball bucket. And we beat these niggas. They was up 2-0. And we are now the NBA champions, man. We did it. Paul George got a ring. My voice cracking. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Paul George got a ring. Look at him. He's hype. Clint Capella's got a ring. RJ Barrett's got a ring. Trey Young's got a ring. DeAndre Hunter's got a ring. I think I said that already. Onyeka okonwu has got a ring. But most important, most important, that boy Derrick Rose is an NBA champion, man. That boy Derrick Rose is an NBA champion, man. Look at Trey Young, man. Look how happy they are, man. Look how happy they are, man. Look at him jumping. Look at him leaping, man. Look at him leaping, man. Look at Derrick Rose, man. Look at Derrick. Look at Derrick, man. <laughs> Look at Derrick. He crying. This is what we love to see, man. This shit, this shit got me feeling a little bit emotional, man. Three years of heartbreaking defeats, man. Just to get to this point, look at Derrick Rose, man. Look at him, man. It's, it's so inspirational. Just look at this nigga, man. He he looked like he belonged there. You know what I'm saying? He looked like he, he belonged to have a NBA championship shirt on, man. Like, this shit just beautiful. But anyways, look at him holding up that trophy. Three seasons of heartbreaking losses all that to get to this point no surprise to anybody 
that boy Trey Young is the finals MVP man and he averaged 29 and 8 five turnovers but insane efficiency but that's gonna wrap up this series man so if you like the video then like the video so that I know that you liked it nigga because it only makes sense and subscribe to the channel if you are new because we are almost at 690 subscribers and I'm trying to hit 700 and I just cannot thank you guys enough bro because like before I started making this video I look back and I watch the very first episode that I made and <clears throat> I was asking for 440 subs it was either 440 or 420 I can't even remember but it was like looking at that and it's like bro between then and now we have almost doubled that shit like you know what I'm saying and I just can't thank you guys enough for that but understand that a my a dynasty will be happening in 2k23 this is going to be my last video of 2k22 subscribe to the channel man I got I'll be streaming a lot I got a lot of videos coming that is you know they're funny videos they're not my league videos but trust me they are good ass videos so stick around for that and I can't wait to see what happens in 2k23 man and for those of y'all that are still watching right now I'm gonna need y'all to comment fucking I got you 2k I got you all 2k23 just say that in the comments if you still watching if you can hear my voice comment that shit man i love i love y'all so much and i thank y'all for giving me content to make for fucking five plus months like that that's insane i really this was not supposed to do as good as it was but let me stop because i could go on for hours man thank y'all so much y'all have a blessed day and peace